Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. I want to give a big thanks out to Horst Jens for all of his help with uh, this code. So this is a Google Colab worksheet or notebook. <clears throat> and what I've got here is a, an application or script, series of scripts that will allow a user to create a new set of worksheets uh, based on this uh, data here. And you can put whatever data you want in this case. So I'm creating the, I'm creating the, uh, <clears throat> the text file so that this will always exist. Because as you might know with Google Colab, anything that's in your directory at the end of a session is destroyed. So I created a script that uh, takes all of this and then writes it directly into a new file so that this, uh, this will always run. And what it will do is it will output this as an HTML and a markdown file. And you can see here's the HTML and I've got some homework from Horst. So here is the you can see I've already run it at 59 minutes and 46 seconds. And I've got a couple of usernames, which are, let me just check my names. Where did the names come from? There is a little uh, form built in and let me see where the names are coming from. Well, let's uh, go ahead and do a search and that should fix all of this. So let's take a look and search for Bob. Where is Bob? Ah, okay, so here is the, um, let me just go ahead and rename this uh, text. name That's, all right so there's Bob Billy and Barney the three B's yay for them and yeah name of student.txt so this will create uh, your student list or your user list whatever you want to call them and uh, I would create a little function that does all that and we take a look at the output, let's go ahead and run this runtime, run all. And it's already done, zero seconds, it's really fast. Some of the Colab functions can be really fast. I don't use, uh, I don't use Colab for teaching as much as I used to because my scripts have gotten really big. But in this case, it's fairly straight straightforward. So let's go ahead and take a look at Billy or rather 12, uh, 1253, so let's take a look at Billy. And this is a markdown file, so if I open that, it should open here in Google Colab. Very nice, huh? And so here are some things to consider to improve, and here are uh, here is a table of contents. Um, it won't work because it's going to reference a document that exists somewhere else. But if you download this and run it on your own machine, it will work. Let's take a look at the HTML. Uh, download, open the HTML, and the HTML works just fine. So I hope this is useful for you. I use it for teaching English. You can use it for whatever you want. Uh, big thanks again to Horst for all of his help in getting this working for me. Thank you, and happy computing.